How was your exam? Oh, pretty well, I think. How was yours? Oh shit! <laughs> High <Okay>. five! <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh my! Oh god, my screen! <laughs> Punch through the monitor. Oops. <laughs> oh my god! Brovis, blah. And that ends today's let's play. Oh. <laughs> uh, <and> <laughs> I got bonus points for beating the other guy with logic puzzle. Maybe they also tell you how other people do tests sometimes to give you alternate ways to do it on your other playthroughs. Yeah. Like, oh, try doing that next time, actually. Ellen seems to have the right idea. Yeah. Jinx, me too. Oh. I guess we're a good match. Mmm. Blush. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it's like, Jinx. <laughs> I like that, actually. Because <laughs> I used to do, like, I don't know, we'd always be like, Jinx, you owe me a Coke. And then Kyle was jinxed. like, I never heard of that. It was usually <laughs> the you can't talk thing. And I was like, well, it was that too, but. <laughs> I hate the Jinx padlock. It's just like, why? <laughs> yeah. Ellen gets up early on Saturday morning, returns, blah, blah, blah. What's that new today? You to speak up, you get punched. I'm like, that's just stupid. <laughs> Study. Don't have any money. Yeah. Most you could do is maybe buy a pretzel. You bought yourself such a pretty necklace. Yep. No money today. Oh, Rain, come see. What is it? It's the pictures I took earlier. I picked them up at the mall yesterday. See, blue magic does show up on the film. I don't know whether that's good or bad. I think that's a good thing. Because, like, someone like Damien can go around the, uh, the mall and not get caught. Yeah. <laughs> you had pictures of magic developed at the mall? What are you, retarded? It's just oh. at the mall. Where else would we do it? What else? Are you retarded? <laughs> <laughs> Touche. I don't know, but if they looked at the pictures, won't they think there's something weird going on? People do weird things with the cameras all the time. There's nothing compared to the special effects in the movies. That's true. Besides, it's just a stupid ball. I guess. Anyway, I'm going to take notes on these results and start planning my next experiment. Those pictures are kind of cool. I wonder what my parents would think if they saw them. Probably nothing, because it's just a ball. Well, we don't know what all got taken. I'm just going to go to a new page, because I'm getting confused now all of a sudden. Alright. That first page no longer exists. It's dead to me now. Good. What should I do this week? Uh, uh, more, f more red, more blue, more white. Study. Everything but black. Pretty much. Like, we never have to take a black magic class again. Not really, no. We're evil enough. <laughs> <laughs> now we just need more power. Yeah. Telepire causes flames to erupt in a nearby lone location. Hmm. That's a combination of red and blue. Fire trap. Target exit will explode in flames and walk through. Oh, my. No, we set a trap for people chasing us. Or that would be really, really bad for that guy. Yeah. Good thing he wasn't real. Oh. That's what you think. Yeah, it's like real to me. Donald shows up and it's like, surprise, it was me all along. Then he's all horribly burned. Why? <laughs> yeah. That no, was like Balthazar. <laughs> I'm walking back to my room after dinner when something catches my eye. I'm not sure what it is, really. A little flash of light, a reflection or a sparkle. Possibly a coin or a bit of jewelry that someone's dropped. So I go over to have a look. And that's when someone grabs me. Uh, or, oof, or, I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh. That's not creepy at all. It's not until he's dragged me into the darkened gym that I manage to get a look at his face. Damien? What on earth are you doing? Shut up. Give me one reason why I shouldn't set you on fire. <laughs> oh, shit. You don't have to. I'm already dying. Oh, this again. What? He 
shoves me away, leaving me to stumble slightly before I regain my balance. You never... You never wondered why I was so upset that you dumped me, did you? Thanks to you, I've got less than a month to live. What are you talking about? I'm half demon, half human. And all of nothing. I shouldn't even exist. Hybrids almost never survive. The two halves destroy each other. My magic is already failing. I thought it I could hold out, but last week's exams were a disaster. Soon I won't have the power to stir up a breeze, and then I'll die. That's awful. There's only one way for a hybrid to live. The power of love. I call shenanigans. It's in quotes. He might not even know what it means. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, we meant love like, I sure do love pizza. Or like, <laughs> I like me some video games. Or, <laughs> you know? It doesn't have to be love love. Uh, what a laugh. Nobody loves anybody. True that. Stop being so emo, Damien. <laughs> no, I think he's got the right idea. Do you know how many people I've gone through trying to find someone, anyone who could truly love me? Someone willing to make a sacrifice that would save my life? So now I'll just have to find someone who's unwilling to make a sacrifice for my life. Uh, um, no. So forgive me, little Miss Lon, if I'm not particularly gentle. You were my last chance, and you betrayed me. I didn't betray you. You never even told me. I told you how I felt. You didn't tell me you needed my help. Maybe I didn't want to go out with you, but you were still my friend. I didn't want you to die. Why didn't you ask me? Because only my true love would be willing to give me her soul to save me. My... my soul? I hoped it was you. I liked you. I wanted us to be together. But in the end, it all comes to dust. I can't force anyone to do it. Someone would have to truly care about me. Not that I could do for them in return. But only, but only about me. And no one ever will. What a terrible curse. Uh, uh, save. <laughs> I I had uh, Castlevania 2 flashbacks there. It's like, what a terrible night to have a curse. <laughs> um, and it is night. I'm thinking giving the soul isn't literal, but it's not going to work if we don't love him. Well. You see what I'm getting at? I would say I'm sorry, because personally, I think this is a trap. Yeah. Like, but let's do try my soul just, just for fun and then load. I did just save it, right? Yes. Okay, let's see what happens. And take my soul. What? You don't want to die, right? You think I could walk away knowing what would happen to you that I could, eh, and then I could have stopped it? So just tell me what to do. All right. Nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. <laughs> <laughs> For such a powerful ritual, it seems surprisingly simple to set up. Oh man, the music's getting all sinister. Diagrams drawn across the floor, across my skin. Salt and ash mixed together and poured in a spiral form, a uh, spiral from my feet out to the pattern's edge. And of course my blood. He provides the knife, but I have to make the cut myself. Any cut. It doesn't have to be deep as long as it bleeds. Last chance. Are you sure? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. But I've come too far to back down now. I don't want him to think I'm a coward. I don't want him to die thinking the nope, whole... Not, not. <laughs> yeah. Nope, see ya! Nope. Ha have, fun, have fun dying! <laughs> How was that moment of hope? Wasn't that great? Bye. <laughs> and, and then you're like, can I... No, it's it's like... Can I kiss you first? And then you just stab him. And you're like, alright, no. problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> now you don't have to die slowly. <laughs> um... No, you just try to do it somewhere immediately fatal. Uh, 37 times. Yeah. I don't want him to die thinking the whole world hated him. 
so I nod. Yeah. Very well, you know what to do. Doesn't look very happy about this either. With my free hand, I make a fist and stare at my veins, trying to steady my nerves. With the other hand, I raise the knife. I offer you the essence of my spirit, freely and unconditionally. With this blood, all of my power is yours. Uncurling my fingers, I place the tip of my thumb against the blade and... Slice. The cut itself isn't painful. I've had worse scrapes from little accidents. The pain comes from elsewhere, a buzzing whirlwind inside of me that numbs and burns all at the same time. I can feel my heart beating faster, but my fingers won't, won't move. Everything is frozen in place. The ache inside grows like pressure swelling under my too tight skin. I can feel great waves passing through me with every heartbeat, but only the tiniest trickle oozes from my wound. I'll burst. I'll explode. Little fool. Easy target. I knew it! <laughs> I should have tried the pity party earlier. It would have saved me so much time. What? I try to speak, but my mouth isn't working. My tongue's swollen up inside my teeth, and I can barely breathe. So it looks like Victoria was right. He is. Maybe. You look so surprised. Did you really think I was dying? I have a much better chance to use the coin of your soul. You're going to make me a prince. Just as soon as you die. It was all a trick. My heart gives a painful lurch, and all the muscles in my body try to twist at once. I can feel the tension wrapping around my lungs, forcing out my breath. And then I fall into the abyss. Oh, all your stats are down. Well, we no, not die. the black magic. But not our demerits, our yeah. merits, or our stress. Then I fall into the abyss. Bad end? I'm guessing. At least you're still cute. <laughs> when I can think again, I'm lying on the floor of the gym. My tongue feels raw where I've bitten it, and I can still taste the blood. My legs and arms ache so much I can't bear to move, and lying still isn't much better. I feel unspeakably awful, but alive. Rain? I clear my throat painfully and summon enough moisture to my mouth to speak. What happened? I'm afraid this is my fault. I suspected there was trouble, but I didn't realize what was happening in time. Where's Damien? Licking his wounds. He may live, but he will never dare return to this place. Oh. <laughs> oh. I interrupted the ris his ritual in time to save your life, but not in time to save you. I'm guessing we might have lost our magic. Maybe. I don't understand. Yeah. Your magical essence is gone. You are no longer a witch. Oh. Therefore, I have no choice but to expel you from this academy. I'm very sorry. And once again, everything fades. Trophy earned, expelled. <laughs> According to the official records, Rain Lawn was a persistent troublemaker and was finally expelled from boarding school after starting an all-out brawl. During that brawl, she hit her head, causing damage to her memory. She returned to her old school, where she was held back a year to help her recover. Since she couldn't remember anything about where she'd been, eventually people stopped asking. For Rain, there was no such thing as magic. That's it depressing. Should... Well, I sounded like a bad end to me. Yep, I knew it was a trick. Damn it, he lured us into the hall with shiny. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I wish I could help. So is this what he was playing all along? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, he, I could, if he's really at war with himself and his two sides, maybe his demon side was winning out there. So maybe if you do actually stick with him and love him, his human side takes over and, you know. Uh, I don't know. But we don't know, because that's not what we're doing this playthrough, apparently. But that's I'm not worth it. That's something for me to find out on an, an additional one. Uh, it's not you, it's me. Maybe I ought to be a better person, but I'm not. I can't do it. I don't need your excuses. Sorry. Whatever. It's all the same to me. He walks away. Is he really going to die? Is it my fault? 
No stress from that, though. Did you hear? Damien said. Did you hear? That Damien boy killed himself. Big fiery <laughs> explosion out in the middle of the courtyard. Blood and guts kind of everywhere. <laughs> I took his wings. <laughs> like, she should be wearing them right now. <laughs> like, look at me. I'm a demon. <laughs> oh. I'm going to suck your blood. <laughs> All right. What? Damien's been expelled. I already got caught trying to take advantage of a freshman boy. No names named. And then Professor Potsdam called down flaming swords and sliced him up and he ran away. Oh, I guess he uh, tricked somebody else into it. Yeah, so I guess it doesn't matter. That sounds a little over-exaggerated. I don't think it is. Well, that's just what I heard. The important thing is he's gone. No more demon boy. Damien's gone. Did he simply leave knowing he was going to die? Or did he try to find someone else who could do what I couldn't? I suppose it doesn't matter now. 